Hey guys, welcome back. And as you see today, we are going to talk about gas masks and the different types of masks that are out there and available. Now, why are we talking about masks? One of the main reasons we're talking about masks is because uh, the whole world seems to be going crazy. And there is an increasing chance now for many people that they may be in a situation to where some kind of CS or tear gas will be deployed. Let's say you live downtown or in a major city center, which you should have moved out of by now. And uh, you may get a little concerned about the rioters, looters, and uh, all of the otherwise uh, evil people out there and the responses that you may get from law enforcement. Well, one thing that they'd love to throw out is the tear gas. Doesn't take much for that to roll into your apartment, your flat, your house, whatever you have downtown. Um, or if you're a kind of person that has to be down there, has to work, that has to deal with it may be advantageous to you to make sure that you have some kind of protection. Other than that, everyone out there is seriously worried about a pandemic and worried about wearing a cloth mask. If this thing were really serious or there was to be another major pandemic, your cloth mask isn't going to do anything. So let's sit back and talk about right off the bat what we have here. And I'm going to kind of go from uh, left to right here. Um, these two masks are at least distributed by a company known as Mira Safety. Um, they're both full CBRN masks. Uh, and in fact, uh, Mira calls this one the 6M and this one the CM7M. But in reality, um, this mask right here is actually a current issue mask for the Lithuanian and Czech Republic military. And you can probably find this mask considerably cheaper if you look specifically for it as a Czech Republic or a Lithuanian military mask, as opposed through the American distributor, which is Mirror Safety. Um, there are some good reasons to use Mirror Safety for certain things like you know, filters and the things of that nature, but I think you'll find a better price on either one of these masks if you, um, if you find them based off of what they truly are, and they will have different uh, names under the Czech military, meaning they won't call this one a CM6M or call this one a CM7M. There may be another name for it. So that's a little hint there in finding a better price. What's the big difference here? They're identical masks, more or less. The main purpose behind this type of mask with the two eye holes as opposed to a full face is that the military decided that it was a heck of a lot easier and anybody that ever wore, worn one of these and fired a rifle can tell you that it's a little bit easier to use a weapon when you have this type of mask because you can actually have a better chance at cheeking the weapon. And while the vision may seem limited, it's easier to use with a scope and things of that nature as opposed to something like this. So that's really the big difference there. For most people, they won't need the military operation per se and, um, and would probably go with the full face for better visibility. And the reality also is that these are a lot scarier looking, and that's why, because you can't see the person's face. So these are, masks like this have always been more military, and they, they, they kind of... Um, uh, and I don't know, I'm not going to open this, but, but here's a brand new one of that same type uh, wrapped in plastic. Um, but just to show you, it's, it's kind of a, um, that look is always a little bit more intimidating than, than this look. Another feature that um, both of these masks do have is the fact that they come with canteens because you can drink through them. So they have actual um, straws, drinking straws that... Uh, line up with a tube on the inside uh, and you can see that tube there on the inside and that tube is the drinking tube so you are actually able to drink while wearing both of these masks and they also made up to a camelback type system so if you had a camelback system uh, you may need an adapter but it will ultimately made up to a camelback system um, the other features of both of these masks is that they will they have two slots for filters, right? So here's one on one side, one on the other. So both of these masks can run two filters at the same time. They have uh, voice box um, uh, resonators inside that um, allow at least your speech not to be as muffled. Those don't work as well as you would think. However, you know, the premise is, is that you can at least tell what a person is saying. 
Um, but uh, the, the drinking is a really good aspect, the fact that you can drink with these. But for most people, you're only wearing it to get out of the immediate era, area of danger. It's not like you're, you're expected to work in these things. So for most people, it's just an idea of having it on long enough to get out of the bad area. So drinking it may, not, may or may not be a deal breaker for you, but it is a nice feature. Now I'm going to go over to the Maztel. Uh, this is the uh, SGE 403 mask. This specific one does not have a drinking tube. Their Millennium series does. Uh, however, um, right now, I mean, and we've been trying to get them since last year. Um, it's very hard to get these with the drinking tube because they're so back ordered. Um, and this particular version is extremely small. This was made for not a child, but an actual small adult. So if you have somebody like a female or someone that you're trying to outfit, you may have to really consider size because um, the way gas masks work is you have to get a good seal around your face. And if your face is really small, you may not be able to do that. So you're going to have to play around. Um, in saying that, this mask is the only mask that works for my wife worth a darn. She cannot seal any of these masks. This is the only one. So it's pretty much special ordered for her. Uh, and you can see that there's also an eyeglass insert, whereas opposed to uh, most of the full face masks like the Mestel and this uh, mirror will take uh, an eyeglass insert. However, there's different companies that make the inserts for either one of these. And I will tell you that in a pinch, you can kind of make a lot of things work if you are an eyeglass wearer. Uh, but the benefit is, is that most of these do have companies that make eyeglass kits for them. One really, really big advantage of the SGE 400 is the fact that it has one, two, three spots available so it does not have the drinking tube. However, you could run three filters on this puppy if you wish. So that is an advantage of this. Now, we hardly ever run more than uh, one filter or would have reason to run one filter because most of our concerns are that over, let's say, something like tear gas or smoke or something like, you know, uh, actual virus, if you will. Um, we're not necessarily concerned at the moment of about any kind of um, true chemical or biological attack um, or nuclear attack. However, you never know, right? It's good to have them. So now we'll talk about filters. These filters that I currently have on here were surplus filters, meaning the state of New York kept these for their survival purposes. And when they expired, they sold them. So they expired in uh, September of 2019. What that meant was, is that we could get them at a fairly decent price. Now you're gonna think, why would I have an expired gas mask? Well, if all I'm worried about is the COVID or anything of that nature, um, it's they're pretty much good for that. Um, at least, you know, I wouldn't put my life on the line with an expired, um, with this expired filter for a major threat. However, for some of these lesser threats, I think it's fine. And honestly, it's just, um, we kind of leave them on. Some of our more serious filters act, will stay in plastic, right? So just kind of giving you an example of some of the things that are out there. Um, there are all kinds of different filters. You pretty much have to learn, um, you know, your way around them. Uh, but just to give you an example here, a lot of them may come from foreign countries. So you just have to get to know exactly what all of the letters mean and what the standards are. And most of those are available. And that way you get a good idea of exactly what your filter will protect against or what it won't. Uh, sorry for the movement of the camera protect against, but this gives you kind of a good idea that there's all kinds of different filters out there, big, small, made for different things. And the main lesson here is to make sure you have plenty of them if you are going to have a mask. Now, I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes as far as just a basic breakdown of different types of masks. So to go back over that, one thing you may want to consider is whether or not you think, if you do think you need one, whether or not you want to go with something that's full face or something that's a little bit more tactical. Also keep in mind um, that, you know, you will have options like whether or not you can drink while wearing the mask or, or not. Size is a concern as well. Also, uh, whether or not you need an eyeglass kit or something of that nature. So there's some considerations there. Not everybody may uh, even feel that they need one. Uh, but I will certainly say if you do, at least you have the information and it's something to check out. 
I would also uh, warn you that at this period of time, everybody and their brother thinks that they need just about everything to survive an impending uh, apocalypse. This planned, planned uh, chaos that we're going to have, which me seems if you're going to plan it, then you can plan not to have it as well. But in either event, um, that's kind of where we are. So you guys have a good one. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the uh, comment section below. You guys have a good one.